what's going on you guys it's your man james aka jp back again with the toy room uh so today we're going to be taking a look at uh this new company called arcade one up and basically what they do uh they're making miniature arcade machines basically and um they revealed this at e3 uh, i believe was the initial reveal was at e3 somehow this flew completely under the radar because i randomly found out about this today i was on gamestop's app um actually going to check my pre-orders because i have a, a long list of pre-orders that i want to keep track of and when i went onto the gamestop app i saw um on the front page uh that you were available to uh to pre-order these arcade machines that you know i saw street fighter that caught my attention so you know i was immediately interested i wanted to see what these were and as i started reading up on them i i said man these are pretty freaking amazing so they're basically miniature they are three quarter scale uh arcade machines so they're not completely the full size arcade machine but they're basically the closest thing now this is good for many reasons uh one it's going to make it more portable uh it's going to be more lightweight uh it's going to be new technology so it's not old arcade cabinet you know stuff that's going to break um and arcade cabinets are extremely expensive i've been wanting to get an arcade cabinet but they easily run you at minimum like a thousand dollars for a refurbished one that may not even be in good shape Plus, you have to account for shipping and everything like that. So, arcade cabinets are really expensive. So, what they've done here, they basically have ported the arcade controls and the arcade, I guess, emulation and shrunken it down into uh, just a, a very nice, portable, compact um package here so they have right now they have five arcade cabinets apparently in october they're going to be announcing two more um i pre-ordered already the street fighter cabinet um and just just um to get this out of the way these are three hundred dollars um now it, it's kind of weird with it because i noticed the price changed throughout the day so basically, on their official website, they were advertising it earlier today for $400. On GameStop's website, it was going for $300. And then I found an article from yesterday that was saying that Walmart is selling these for $100 less than everybody else. And when I checked Walmart's website, it was also $300. So what I'm assuming is Walmart decided to sell these at $300 versus $400. And then GameStop adjusted the price to compete with Walmart. And then the um, the company themselves uh, is now advertising this at $300 versus $400. Which uh, is actually a pretty pretty good deal. Uh, I would have liked to see a lot more games. But uh, we'll, go, we'll go ahead and run through the games here. So the first cabinet is Asteroids. And, it, and the Asteroids is the main theme of the cabinet. So And it comes with the Asteroids game. It comes with the Tempest game. It comes with uh, Major Havoc and Lunar Lander. And now with these games, there's actually no joysticks involved. It's, um, it's a weighted disc. Now, I've never actually played these uh, arcade ports or arcade games, I should say. So I don't know exactly how it works. But I know you have this like rotating dial. Uh, and that's what you use as a control. So that's pretty cool to see that they are sticking true to the way it was in the actual arcade. And then the next cabinet, my favorite cabinet, and the one that I definitely had to get, is a Street Fighter 2 cabinet. Now this comes with uh, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, and Street Fighter 2 The New Challengers. I would have liked to see Hyper Fighting on here. I'm a big Hyper Fighting fan. Um, but those are the three Street Fighter 2 games that come in this cabinet. Uh, I wish we would have maybe got, I, I don't know, it, it's, there's so many versions of Street Fighter 2, it's hard, it would have been nice to see all of them, uh, on here, honestly, but each cabinet comes with three to four games, um, and this one just happened to come with three, it would have been nice to see another one thrown in there, whether it was Hyper Fighting, whether it was just the original Street Fighter 2, whatever, it would have been nice to see another game, because I believe this is the only cabinet uh, that has three games instead of four. But moving on, uh, we have the Rampage cabinet. Again, Rampage is the main theme of this cabinet. And I believe this is the Midway Classics um, cabinet. So all the games in here are made by Midway. So you have Rampage, Gauntlet, Joust, 
and Defender. And this one comes with three joysticks. Uh, so you can actually play three-player Rampage, which is pretty cool. Uh, moving on to the next cabinet. The next cabinet, we have Centipede, Crystal Castles, Missile Command, and Millipede. Now, with this cabinet, you don't have any joysticks. You actually have a rollerball. And that rollerball technology is very hard to duplicate when you're actually emulating a game. So it's great to see, again, that original hardware. Or not necessarily original hardware, but a recreation of the original hardware. And then this cabinet actually I believe is a, a brand new newly announced cabinet because it's not even up for pre-order yet. Uh, and this actually was a very interesting cabinet. Um, so this comes with Final Fight, Ghost and Goblins, 1944, and Strider. Now, I'm not that interested in the 1944, but Final Fight, Ghost and Goblins, and Strider... That's actually a really solid lineup of games right there. But ultimately, for me to spend uh, this $300, I'm going to go to the game that I'm familiar with, the game that I know I'm probably going to play the most because I'm going to have friends over. And, you know, there's no other arcade multiplayer game like Street Fighter 2. But those are all the cabinets. Now, these are available for pre-order through GameStop, through Walmart, and uh, Walmart of Canada. And it says coming soon to Bed Bath & Beyond, which is uh, kind of strange. <laughs> you wouldn't expect Bed Bath & Beyond to really carry something like this, I guess. But technically, it's like a piece of furniture. So how it comes, it comes in, um, in several pieces, basically. It comes in a small box. Uh, and it's, it's all wooden pieces and of course the electronics with the screen and the control deck But it all comes in separate pieces. You have to put it together yourself. I watched the video on the uh, the installation or not the installation, but the um Maybe I guess you could say installation putting it together basically and it, it's basically just like Ikea furniture So you just couple woods uh, pieces couple screws here and there it shouldn't take you more than maybe like 15 20 minutes to set the whole thing up now uh, These stand at about four feet tall Which are going to be a little short in which case you will need to actually sit down to play these however They are selling accessories. There's actually no word on um one, if you can pre-order these accessories, there's there's nothing that says you can pre-order it, and there's no um, price listed on these accessories. But you can buy like a little miniature bar stool so you can sit down and play these arcade cabinets, or of course, if you just have a chair at home, you can use that. Uh, and then there's also this uh, riser here, which um, you basically just put the arcade uh, cabinet on top of the riser, and now it will actually be the full size, uh, at least the full height that it was in the actual arcades. Uh, and all that uh, riser is is basically just a wooden box. Uh, if it if that wooden box is at a fair price, maybe something like I don't know, ten, maybe twenty dollars, I'll pick it up. Uh, anything more than that would just be ridiculous because at the end of the day, it's just a wooden box. You can make that box yourself for probably like $5 if you just go buy the equipment at Home Depot or whatever. But it looks pretty cool. Uh, and I definitely, I, I want that riser because just to have an arcade machine, I want that whole experience of standing up while playing these games. And it'll make it stand out a little bit more in my game room. Uh, and it, it just gives it that that arcadey feel and that overall experience so i am very excited about these i don't know why these have been flying under the radar like no one's talking about these there's really only like maybe five videos on youtube not including the the actual company's videos but just people talking about this no one is really talking about this so i'm very excited i wanted to talk about it i wanted to let you guys know about it and I cannot wait. So I'll leave the link in the description and uh, a pinned comment on this video. If I can remember, if it's not in the pinned comment, it'll definitely be in the description. Um, we can check out the uh, the website. You can pre-order at GameStop. You can pre-order at uh, Walmart. Uh, Walmart has free two-day shipping. GameStop has free standard shipping, which will take three to five days. Um, I pre-ordered it at GameStop just because I enjoy getting my games from GameStop. I'm just weird like that. I would get all my toys from Toys R Us, or like most of my toys from Toys R Us, and I would get all my games from GameStop. So that's just me. I'm just weird like that. But uh, again, be sure to check the link in the description so you can, you know, just read up on this, uh, do some research, whatever you want to do. Let me know down below if you guys are going to pre-order this, if this is something you're interested in, if you're going to wait for reviews to come out first. 
uh, stay tuned to this channel. If you're new, make sure you subscribe because I will be um, doing an unboxing and a tutorial on putting it together and an overall review on this once I get it. Release date is September 27th, I believe. So that's exactly two months from now, actually. 60 days from now. I will be picking this up. Well, I'm lying. It's going to ship out to me in 60 days. I won't get it for a few days after that. I'm going to see if I'll be able to pick it up in the store. If I can pick it up in the store, I'm definitely going to do that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Stay tuned for more. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. The link is in my description. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.